Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and in this episode of Barbecue City Guide, where I talk to a barbecue expert about where to go if you have one or two days in a specific city, I talk to the barbecue expert himself, Daniel Vaughn, barbecue editor for Texas Monthly Magazine. We talk specifically about Dallas because there's a lot of territory to cover in Dallas, and this one is just phenomenal. We go joint by joint by joint, and he describes the specific items he loves, the items to get. We talk about um, barbecue joints that I'd never heard of or that were kind of off my radar or maybe I'd just heard them in passing but I didn't know much about them. You now will learn about those. And if, you don't, if you're not hungry by the end of this episode, you've had a huge meal because I was starving <laughs> after like halfway through. Daniel even told me at one point, he said, I'm... <laughs> Getting hungry. And he was gonna because he was describing a specific joint. He talks about wanting to go to that one that day. Um, you're gonna love this. It's so detailed, and Daniel's just great. He's uh, obviously a wealth of knowledge. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If there's any barbecue joints that that you heard of because of this that you now are going to visit, subscribe. I'm gonna be adding at least one of these city guides per week, plus my barbecue interviews and visits to wood piles and restaurants and all that stuff. Thanks so much. Well, good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Kevin. How are you doing today? Well, how's your morning so far? Like it's pretty early for both of us. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Dropped the kids off at school, got a cup of coffee. I'm fine. Nice, nice. Well, as, as I mentioned, I'm doing a uh, kind of a barbecue city guide, and yeah. I wanted to do, uh, you know, if you have a day in a city or you have a couple days, like a weekend or just, uh, you know, just a few days, where would you recommend people go? And I think we'll focus for you on Dallas, right? Yeah, well, I mean, in Dallas, I mean, if you've got, if you're going to do a weekend, uh, well, I would say you should definitely come on a weekend because our our best barbecue joint in the area is Cadillac Barbecue. Gotcha. Cadillac Barbecue is only open on Thursday and Friday, um, and then on Saturday, the first Saturday of every month, they open up and do a whole hog. Oh yeah, so Eastern North Carolina style whole hog. They've got a a whole hog cooker just like uh, you know, just like they've got over in in Eastern North Carolina. Um, and his whole hog is great. Now, Thursday and Friday, I don't feel like you're going to be missing out because the, the brisket there, the pork ribs, uh, he does all his own sausages. All these things are fantastic. Um, the lines are long. They open at 1030. Um, if you're choosing between a Thursday and Friday, I would definitely choose a Thursday if you're looking for a little bit shorter line. Um, if you get in line around nine, nine o'clock, um, they generally open the doors around 10 to 15, um, if they're ready to go. So it's not that long of a, uh, not that long of a wait. Um, I've heard they're but, pretty efficient. Is that true? Yeah, they are efficient and, uh, there's a lot of big groups that come in there too. So, you know, you have one person ordering for a large group, so it, <laughs> Uh, the the line tends to move pretty quickly, and they have two cutters going as well. Nice. So, okay, that's if the, <clears throat> so the line doesn't get bogged down with those big orders. Um, I mean, the, the other great one is is Pecan Lodge. Uh, they're down in Deep Ellum. Uh, they are they've they've been long notorious for their long lines and the trough. Uh, the trough is a, a big platter of every meat that they smoke. So it's got sausage, beef ribs, brisket pulled pork, uh, pork ribs. I mean, it's got it all on there. And, and the great thing about it is uh, you can kind of skip the long line if you go get the trough because you can order that from what they call the express line. And so if you're ordering five pounds a meat or more, uh, which that includes the trough, then you get to skip that line. So do you uh, jump into that express line or is that something you call in ahead? Or? Yeah, you got to jump into that express line. Okay. So, uh, I mean, the other, like, other, other secret thing is to just hop up at the bar. If there's a seat open at the bar and you're like dining alone, uh, you can just place an order for food right at the bar. Oh, that's so cool. Just have, if there's an open seat at the bar, just have a seat, get yourself a beer. They've got a few good ones on, on draft and uh, yeah, and order straight from there. Well, that's nice if you're in town like for business or something. That's awesome. Yeah, if you're in town alone and you don't think you can eat a trough by <laughs> yourself, which I don't recommend because it's <laughs> – <laughs> like five pounds of meat. Uh, but my favorite cut that they've got there is the beef rib. Okay. Um, so if you're getting the trough or not, um, make sure you end up with a beef rib at Pecan Lodge. Okay, cool. One of my favorites that's just like every day, any day, uh, right in Dallas is Slow Bone. Slow Bone. Uh, Slow Bone, it's, uh, it's, they're never open for dinner, but they're always open for lunch every day, seven days a week. Well, that's nice. And, and they've got... Uh, Unlike most Texas barbecue joints, they have an incredible array of very well-made sides. Uh, they also have great barbecue barbecue to go along with it, and the best fried chicken in the city. 
Really? Uh, it's phenomenal stuff. So they, um, they smoke the water that they use to brine the chicken. Okay. Brine that chicken and then they fry the chicken. Um, my favorite play there is to just go get a two meat plate with fried chicken and pork ribs. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. And don't skip the, the cornbread pudding. And is slow bone a lineup kind of a standard or is it a table? Yeah, style? slow bone is, is, is a standard. Um, you know, it's, it's really the, the way to serve barbecue in, in Dallas, which is the, um, uh, it's, it's like the cafeteria style line mm -hmm. where, uh, and, and this is very common in the old school joints in Dallas, like, uh, like Big Al's barbecue or Mike Anderson's barbecue. Uh, it's the place where you grab your tray you give your order to the meat cutter and then you slide your tray on down the line and you pick your sides. Um, you know, you, you, at a lot of these places, you scoop them up yourself. You pick your, um, uh, you pick up how much sauce you want, uh, or whether you want no sauce, your pickles, your onions. And then at a lot of these places you end up, uh, at the very end with the opportunity to get some free soft serve ice cream. So uh, back, back country barbecue is another one of these places. So they're the places that maybe you don't read about all that often. Um, they are, uh, you know, they're, they're the classics, the standards, the ones that have been doing it this way for, for a long, long time. And that's nice because that's something like if, if people wanted to see the history of Dallas barbecue, they would be going to those places. Are there any other places that kind of fall under <clears> that umbrella of, historical barbecue yeah well i mean two of our oldest barbecue joints are uh what have become chains so uh sunny brian's barbecue the original sunny brian's down on inwood they've got the old school desks and it's still in the same tiny building uh that opened in the 50s they've got uh they're well known for their chopped brisket sandwich and their onion rings uh the onion rings are massive um I also really like the Frito pie there uh, oh, cool. because it's, you really get to drown it in barbecue sauce. And I know you, you often hear that Texas barbecue is not about the sauce, but Sonny Brian's makes a fantastic barbecue sauce. Um, and uh, it's also the only barbecue joint that I know of in Texas that is open 24-7. So <laughs> any day you can go into the original Sonny Brian's and get yourself some barbecue. That's what the little school desk, that one? It's, well. it's in a medical district, so there's – Lots of hospitals around. Okay. There's um, and it's become popular with, uh, of course, with with law enforcement, with uh, with anybody who's out and about at all hours of the night. Huh. That's cool. I, you know, what I know whatever. I don't know. Is there any other barbecue place in the United States that's twenty four hours? I'm sure there are some out there, but yeah, I, can't um, think of I mean, now. certainly none with the sort of history that Sonny Bryan's has. For sure. Uh, I mean, the other place with a long history in Dallas. If you go to the corner of uh, of of Central Expressway. And Henderson Avenue is the original Dickies. The very first Dickies barbecue is right there. Okay. Uh, I'd love to tell you that it's better than all the other Dickies, but it's pretty much what you'd expect from any any Dickies <laughs> barbecue. The big yellow cup. Um, so yeah, that's. Um, <laughs> and they have good. they they like you said they do have soft serve ice cream. They do have soft serve ice cream. Uh, the what out here yeah. in Woodland Hills does too. Exactly. Yeah. Well, in, in any of these places, uh, you know, the, the great thing about Dallas is that and usually anywhere you are in East Texas is most barbecue joints are going to have a stuffed baked potato mm -hmm. as an option. Right. Mm -hmm. And so if you're if you're roped into a dubious barbecue joint, you're not quite sure what you're in for. Is this the, is this a good place or not? Uh, that's always a safe bet. As long as the potato itself is well cooked, it's going to have sour cream and butter and bacon and cheese and scallions and barbecue on top with or chopped barbecue on top with plenty of sauce. So no matter how good the barbecue is, it's pretty well hidden within the stuffed <laughs> baked potato. Um, so that's always a safe option. Yeah, that's true. It's um, filling. <laughs> yeah. Now some of the old school places that I that I really really like. Uh, one of them is Max Barbecue. Okay. It's uh, I mean. It's a second generation place. Billy McDonald runs it. It's in. Uh, it's right outside of the Deep Ellum neighborhood. The, the tough thing about it is only open Monday through Friday for lunch, and that's it. I mean, it's a very, uh, it's very much for your business lunch or business lunch. I mean, it's it's very much for like the working man's lunch. Uh -huh. um, but uh, you know, Billy's right there uh, cutting everything for everyone. I love getting a chopped beef sandwich there with uh, uh, with sausage on it. 
Uh, his uh-huh. sauce is fantastic. It's a very simple sauce, a little Worcestershire heavy, not too sweet, not too acidic. It's just it's a nice balanced sauce. Um, and he does a fantastic pork ribs as well. Are these people making a lot of people making their own sausage in Dallas? Uh, there's not a ton of people that are making their own sausage in Dallas. Like, uh, of course, Cadillac Barbecue is and Pecan Lodge is. Uh, Lockhart Smokehouse, they're not making their own sausage, but they're getting it from the family. So mm-hmm. Lockhart Smokehouse, the, the folks who run it are, um, are related to the Kreitz Market family in Lockhart, Texas. And so they get all the sausage, uh, from Kreitz Market. So if you, if you're in Dallas and you're dying for a link of that, uh, of that Kreitz Market sausage, you can just go to Lockhart Smokehouse. And the classic uh, kind of U-shaped Yes, the the U shaped link, um, beef, a little bit of pork, uh, black pepper, salt, a little cayenne. Uh, so they have a location in uh, in the Bishop Arts neighborhood, and they also have another location up in Plano. Okay. Uh, so you can get get it uh, Lockhart Smokehouse a couple different ways. As far as sausage, um, man, I'm trying to think. Uh, 18th and Vine, they make a good sausage, but I mean 18th and Vine is, uh, I mean that would be my choice if you're going to go. Um, if you're looking for a place for dinner, now they serve lunch, mm-hmm. uh, but it's a it's a great place to satisfy a lot of folks for dinner. So they have a few fancier, more elevated entree plates uh, that feature smoked meats. You can also just get straight up barbecue there for dinner. Um, it's they build themselves as a Kansas City style joint, hmm. but they have good brisket, so it's not really all that Kansas City style. <laughs> no. Uh, but one, so one of the things that they specialize in is they do burn ends. Uh, I think their burn ends are better than any of the burn ends I've had in Kansas city. They're wow. Spectacular. Uh, burn ends and fried okra. I mean, right there, you're, you're going to end up happy. And that's, that's unique to, to Texas. You're not getting a lot, not many places, even, I don't know any really places that have yeah. burn ends plus the okra. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's kind of nice to, that's, that's actually a cool little tip. And that yeah. open for dinner. I was gonna go. I was gonna transition to places that are open for dinner. We got we got a few more that are really focused on lunch. And, oh, cool. Okay. Um, one of them that I love is Hardeman's Barbecue. Oh yeah, yeah. For me. So there's three Hardeman's Barbecues. It's one of the oldest uh, families in barbecue. None of the individual locations are all that old right now, but the Hardeman family has been part of Dallas barbecue since the 40s, oh. and. There's a there's three locations. The location at Keystone Hampton is my favorite, and I love their pork ribs, um, and their pork ribs and their sauce are ridiculously good. But but the reason that I love to go there is that they've always got some other uh, some other soul food special. So um, I went in the other day and I got uh, they had oxtails, which I've had before. Their oxtails are great. Their uh, and I got smothered pork chops. Oh, oh. man, smothered pork chops, uh, smothered squash. Cabbage, yams, greens. Uh, I mean, they've they've got all your Texas barbecue standards, but then also having all those side options or even those uh, those plate special lunch special options. Uh, I mean, it's it's one of the it, it's certainly a place that's going to be a crowd pleaser. You can take people there who who don't love barbecue and still end up making them happy. How does that place get pretty crowded? Uh, I mean, it, there's a lot of to go. Um, there's a lot of to-go plates that come from there, so um, there's a lot of just walk-in, walk-out traffic. So the the dining room is never all that full. Okay. Yeah, so it's a nice, easy place to hop in. Well, that's nice. No, nice. That's a great tip. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I certainly don't want to leave out any of our uh, Texas Monthly Top 50 barbecue joints. So, sure. um, you know, we've got, a, we've got some over in Fort Worth, uh, which I know you'll get to in another episode with, with Heim Barbecue and Barbecue on the Brazos. Um, but in Dallas, of course we, we covered Cadillac barbecue. Uh, we covered, um, uh, pecan lodge, uh, out, um, a little bit further out from the center of Dallas. We got top five barbecue in DeSoto. Uh, when you walk in, they always say, uh, have, it's a smoking good day. That's funny. Like, I got yeah. sushi bar. <laughs> I mean, everybody's going to feel welcome when they walk into Top 5 Can you barbecue. talk a little bit about that? Because I think a lot of people don't, even myself, don't really know much about them. Yeah, well, um, I mean, it's in a strip mall in South Dallas, or, you know, south of Dallas in DeSoto. So it it just doesn't look all that impressive. But then you walk in and you see they've got a wood-fired smoker there. You know, it smells like great barbecue. You've got the great hospitality. Um 
they do uh, they do some fun stuff like they make their own tortilla chips and so they do these uh, barbecue nachos okay. and so they, they make their own tortilla chips fry them up and then they pour some of their barbecue rub on them uh, and then cover those in in you know cheese and barbecue and all that good stuff uh, I really like their ribs they do some good brisket too um, yeah it's it's a fun place and they also uh, they all of their sides are homemade as well so That's awesome. you'll you'll eat well there. Um, so that's south of Dallas, north of Dallas, you get up to McKinney, Texas to Hutchins barbecue. Uh, Hutchins is, it's one of those few places that is open for lunch and dinner. Um, and the real rarity at, at Hutchins is the fact that no matter when you walk through that door, the brisket is going to be fresh and it's going to be great. Like three o'clock in the afternoon, they're not going to be serving the morning's brisket. They're pulling off briskets like once every couple of hours that's all smart. throughout the day. Um, and if you go on the weekend, you can get my favorite thing at Hutchins, which is they they get these giant jalapenos and they stuff them with uh, with with cheese with like about a quarter pound of smoked brisket. It feels like in each one, wrap it in bacon, um, coat it in their sweet barbecue sauce, smoke it, and then finish it off on the grill to crisp up the bacon. They they uh, they call them Texas Twinkies. I mean, you get two of those and it's a meal. Oh yeah. But they're only available on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, okay. uh, man, that's good stuff. And then, uh, let's see, in Waxahachie, um, right outside of Dallas as well, is Harris Barbecue. Okay. Uh, Harris Barbecue, they've got great pulled pork and ribs. My favorite thing there, though, is to get the brisket sandwich, the sliced brisket sandwich. And they, um, instead of a bun, they will give you the option of getting it on Texas toast. Mm. So, you know, you get... Two buttered pieces of Texas toast, uh, nice fatty sliced brisket in the middle, some pickles and onions. They've got a good sauce. It's it's a nice uh, nice package of barbecue there. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, lots of good options there. And then right outside of uh, right outside of Dallas, I mean, it's a first ring suburb in Garland is Meshack's Barbecue. Mm. Meshack's is, uh, I mean, it, it is what people think of when they think of a barbecue shack. Okay. It's, a, it's a tiny place uh, off the side of the road. They've got a haphazard wood pile of, of pecan wood um, all up right beside where the smoker is. Uh, there's no indoor dining. There's a few picnic tables. Yeah. Um, it's all to go, and you order just straight from a window. There's no cover. There's <laughs> – like it's a it, – it's a, gravel parking lot that probably could maybe use a uh, use a bulldozer going through <laughs> uh but man they've got great ribs great chopped beef sandwich um and and they're great folks as well it's uh it's one of those places man i'm making myself hungry now i haven't yeah. been to it's been too long since i've been to me so i might head over there for lunch today and how long how far like how far is that from the city I mean, uh, I mean, I live in Dallas, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm kind of on the east side of Dallas, and it's only 20 minutes from me, okay. 15 okay. minutes from me. So, I mean, we're not talking like a long haul here. Yeah. Would you recommend if if you're going to Dallas to have a car? To you need to get a car to get around, right? You can't just Uber. If, if you want to, if you want to go around like on a true eating tour of Texas barbecue in Dallas, you'll need a car. Mm -hmm. But between like Max Barbecue, Pecan Lodge, and Slowbone, I mean, all those are close enough that you could uh, that you could theoretically, I mean, you could walk between Max and Pecan Lodge, and then you could uh, just you know take a car over to Slowbone. Okay, so that's that's doable. Tasting, yeah. But I mean, if you really want to do some real exploration, you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need to get a car. Yeah. yeah um, sure. Now. While you're over in Garland, if you want to grab a beer or two, there's a there's a brewery there called Intrinsic Brewery, okay. and uh, they brew all their own beer, and uh, it's a brewery, uh, <laughs> uh, and then they they smoke meat as well. So you can get, uh, I, I love their uh, Frito pie, their barbecue Frito pie, along with one of their more uh, they they have some um, acidic beers as well, some uh, slightly sour beers, which I think goes really well with barbecue. Oh, it does. Yeah, sour do. So that's yes. cool. So, so they're just kind of doing it on the side with their brewing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, some, but there are plenty of people who go in just for the barbecue, and they they don't end up with a beer at all. I oh, guess. Wow. Um, I guess when you have to go in a, into an office every day, uh, yeah, 
yeah, it's frowned upon to come back after with the not, a not of, everyone could do like the scotch or the beer during lunchtime and get back to yeah. Or, yeah, exactly. I don't know anything about that though. <laughs> yeah, I have a good friend that used to do that all the time. <laughs> And like everybody else would be on like iced teas and he's like, I'll take a scotch. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yes, exactly. Well, you were asking about dinner as well Mm -hmm. and scotch. Uh, A place to go get a good drink um, and to get dinner is Smoke. Uh, There's uh, Smoke's been around for a while. They have uh, quite a few items on their dinner menu that aren't barbecue. Um, But as the name implies, they've got plenty of barbecue as well. My favorite thing that they have on the menu is the uh, is the smoked rib. They have a giant beef uh, giant beef short rib. Mm-hmm. Uh, they also have some good smoked pork chops, uh, and the ribs are good too. So, uh, and the drinks, the cocktails there are fantastic. So, and, mm-hmm. and you can also finish off with some. Uh, uh, it's like a tequila key lime pie. Ah, oh, that's yeah. awesome. Hey, who's good. the chef there? Is that is that uh, that's Tim Byers? Tim, Tim okay. Byers, the chef there. Yes. Yes, indeed. He's got a, a few good restaurants around town, but that's uh, that's the one that features the barbecue. And uh, t- is it Tsar or Tsar? Uh, Tsar. Tsar. Is he in Dallas? Is that where? John Tsar is in Dallas. Yeah, but he doesn't really have uh, doesn't really have any barbecue on the menu. He does. He's he's got a great steakhouse. A lot of good dry aged steaks. My favorite burger in Dallas is there, uh, the Ozersky Burger, which is uh, oh. just uh, good old. Uh, Good old American beef, uh, about a third pound patty, well seared, a lot of salt, uh, American cheese, and a thin slice of onion, and that's on a white bun. That's, that's an it. homage to. Yes, to, to the, Josh Ostrowski. To Josh, yeah. yeah, the man. Yeah. To his uh, his ideal burger. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I almost forgot. As far as a dinner option, I know we're bouncing around back and that's forth okay. here. That's okay. That's kind of how, the, how these are. <laughs> forward here uh ferris wheeler's backyard and barbecue oh, yeah, it's yeah. a place in dallas and it is called ferris wheelers for a reason there is a ferris wheel in the back uh in and on the weekends it is operable oh, I didn't know now, that. um you, you can't get sloshed and jump on the ferris wheel there's a rule against that but uh you can have a nice drink out on the patio um get a good tray of barbecue there don't miss their fried okra uh, if they have burn ends on the menu, definitely get those. But um, on on the evenings, on weekends, they do have the Ferris wheel running. Uh, if you want to chance it and hop up on a uh, hop up on a Ferris wheel and get a, a different view of Dallas, have you chanced it? No. <laughs> I, I you know I'm I don't want to have the possible embarrassment of uh, sir, you're over the weight limit. <laughs> yeah, I mean more. Um, the bigger reason is the fact that I would. If I was there in the evenings, I'd be there with my kids, yeah. and they definitely want to go on it, and I would definitely not want to watch them ride it. Yes, that fear. <laughs> that <laughs> well, that's so, that, and they're pretty new, right? They're they're the yeah, they are new. Yeah, Doug Pickering, uh, he does the cooking over there, and yeah, they haven't been they haven't been around for a year yet, but they're making some good stuff. Um, and you know, over uh, let's see. Uh, uh, another uh, two other ones that are really close to one another that you could easily visit side by side that are in uh, the Cedars neighborhood just south of downtown. You have uh, Off the Bone. Off the Bone, they they do uh, they do great ribs and brisket, but my favorite thing there is the uh, side of fried corn. So they take a full cob of fresh sweet corn and dump it in the fryer. <laughs> they take it out. Squeeze lime over top of it and put some of their barbecue rub on top. Oh, that sounds so it's, good. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, and then right next to it is Baby Back Shack. And Baby Back Shack, they are they build themselves as like Memphis style, so you can get things that you can't get anywhere else in Dallas, like Cornish Hen. Oh, uh, skip the brisket there. It's just it's just not good. But the uh, the Cornish Hen, they do smoked bologna, um, and they do some good ribs as well. Wow. Uh, so it's like cozy, co- cozy corner in Dallas, kind of cozy corner esque. Yeah, but funny enough, Baby Back Shack does not serve Baby Back ribs; they serve St. Louis style ribs. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, um, but my the greatest thing there is that you can get as a side item, you can get their uh, their smoked boudin. Oh, like, that's considered a side. So you can go in and get a, like a four meat plate with two sides of a uh, of boudin. Oh, that's unusual and awesome. Yeah, I mean, you feed a family of four off of that right there, uh, but but you should definitely get the other sides, the sh- uh, the shack beans, 
shack beans are good stuff. Oh, cool. Awesome. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to get uh, Smoky John's barbecue back too. They had a bad fire in October and they're still, uh, they're still working to get things uh, rebuilt and reopened. But once okay. they do open, it's definitely worth checking out. So before you come to Dallas, check and make sure if Smoky John's is back open cool. from their fire. I'll put links to all this. I'm going to have a companion blog piece. Are we missing anything uh, else? Um, I think the the only other one we miss that I really do like is um, it's it's right near the airport. So if you are flying into DFW Airport and you only have uh, maybe you have a long layover, mm-hmm. or maybe you just got to get to some barbecue right away, <laughs> is Meet You Anywhere Barbecue. Okay, uh, it's in Grapevine. They have a second location in Trophy Club, but the one in Grapevine is really close to the airport. And I mean the barbecue there. There's um, there's hardly a bad thing on the menu, but the 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 brisket, um, smoked turkey, uh, and if you get there early, they do breakfast tacos as well. Nice. So don't think that you only can stop by at lunch and dinner time. And the uh, they do smoked um, smoked fillet as well, smoked uh, tenderloin, beef tenderloin. <laughs> oh really? On, that's that's unique. So, so yeah, if you're there on Friday and Saturday, get some smoked tenderloin. Good stuff. Wow, there's all these ones that like that's massive. That's you, there's what a great amount of options that you have in Dallas. Really, yeah, that's the thing. Like Dallas, it's shocking. Yeah, even you said that. that was... to, you know, we haven't even got into the Fort Worth side of things. Dallas and Fort Worth, it's enormous. I mean, it's 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 hard to fathom just how big it is uh, until you start driving around trying to trying to hit all these places. But um, it's so big, and there's so many great ones. And you know. I, I work for Texas Monthly. Of course, the top 50 we think is gospel, but that's only 50 barbecue joints. Mm-hmm. And if uh, if you're going to limit yourself to just those 50, you're missing out on a lot of great barbecue. Uh, so, you know, it's Dallas is definitely a place worth coming to explore um, and and be open minded. And you can also get a, a huge variety of great barbecue years. That's so great. Now, now this is kind of a stupid question, but at, at DFW at the airport, are there any good options at all? If some someone's stuck for an hour and they can't get out or something? Yeah, um, you know, it's it's is all that, airport barbecue. Yeah, uh, there is a brand new. Um, there's a there is a Salt Lake barbecue in the airport mm-hmm. uh, in Terminal A. Um, I've had a a decent chopped beef sandwich there, and I've had a really awful chopped beef sandwich there. Which was more the texture of uh, of shredded wheat before you put the milk on it, uh, and then Cousins Barbecue. So Cousins Barbecue, they used to be in Terminal D, they moved uh, to a new location in Terminal B. So if you're in Terminal B, there's a brand new Cousins. They've got a they've got a bar, um, and they've got a full menu of barbecue there. What's the place that you took a photo of once that had the copper pipe, the co- copper? That was a Q barbecue in the uh, uh, George Bush Airport, International Airport in Houston. Uh, okay, okay. Well, that's uh, yes. That's for another. That, that, right now, that airport in Houston is the only airport that I know of that they're actually smoking barbecue on site. So I can't, I can't say that uh, anybody in DFW is doing the same. Unfortunately, that's unique. That to itself, I, that, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's so to to wrap it up. Say you've had your fellow barbecue. Are there any other? But you still are craving smoked meats. Are there any places to get pastrami, corned beef that that you could recommend? Or maybe uh, I know you, we talked about John Tizar's place, but like, is there any other place that like for a really good steak? So they want to finish off the night with a, an amazing steak. Yeah. Well, I mean, knife John Tizar's place is yeah. fantastic. Um, you know, there's uh, let's see where else to finish off the evening. Uh, man, you're throwing me for a loop here. I didn't, uh, I know I did, I did prep you for yeah, this. <laughs> my opinion about anything but barbecue. Um, but let's see. I mean, if I'm going to go for dinner, if I've had a, a long day of eating barbecue, I'm probably not going to go to a steakhouse. I, I, I'd imagine. I know that's, uh, that's pushing I mean, I'm, I'm going to want tacos and Dallas is a great city for tacos. Um, uh, we've got a great taco deli here. It's one of the locations, um, that they have locations all over the state, but we've got one, uh, two here in Dallas. Um, so I enjoy Taco Deli. Urban Taco, though, is where I'd probably send you for dinner. They've okay. got great drinks, and they have um, they have pork al pastor, and they've got they cook it on the big trompo. Uh, uh, they make their own tortillas. Um, everything about that place is great. If you get the pork al pastor, you can get the get it a la tuma. Okay, and that means that they put uh, cheese right down on the flat top, 
put a fresh jalapeno slice on top of that cheese, and then they put the tortilla on top of that. Oh. And then they stuff the tortilla with everything that comes in the pork al pastor taco and then kind of fold it up so your outside edge is the crispy cheese. Oh, that is that's that blows me away right there. Okay. That's what that tip alone <laughs> makes me so excited. Yeah. Excellent. And and uh as as fate would have it, I rem- I I forgot one of my favorite new barbecue joints in town. Oh, cool. okay. And and so another one of those places is a little far out of town. It's about about a thirty minute drive from downtown. And that is Smoke Sessions Barbecue in Fate, Texas. Okay. Uh, right now they're um, they're open for lunch, and you know they they will have food for dinner. You can't always guarantee that they're going to have the full menu for dinner, but they have some of the best brisket of any new barbecue joint in town. It's it's really great stuff. Nice, awesome. So have we missed anything? Is there anything that you? Of did? course we did. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like you're gonna, I, you're gonna email me that like right after. Barbecue joints here. <laughs> um, of course we missed something. So um, yeah, I, I apologize to whatever barbecue joint owner I might have missed, but uh, that's certainly gonna keep you keep you from getting hungry in Dallas, right there. Excellent. Well, thank you, thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you for your time. And again, it's a wealth of knowledge. I, I appreciate everything you do, and I'm sure everyone who's watching this appreciates what you do. And uh, I, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great have have a great rest of your week. And uh, yeah, if you think of anything that you've missed, just email me, and I'll try to put it in the either in the show notes or at least in the in the intro if I can do it before. All right, excellent. All right, have a good one. It was great talking to you. Yeah, great talking to you as always.